Hey, it's Jay, and I hope that you're having a beautiful day. And we're playing Dread Halls, and if you don't know what that is, it is probably the scariest one of, oh, I can't say the scariest, that's a pretty bold statement, right? But it's probably one of the scariest VR horror games that there is, that somebody could experience and put themselves through, and I'm very aware of what this game has to offer and all of that, but a lot of you really, really liked it, and a lot of you really, really liked me not liking it, so. Uh. <laughs> I don't I don't want to do it. We're going to play we'll, we'll start well, here, here, how about we're gonna we're gonna start okay we'll start with just a new game okay we'll start with a new game you could do random maps and the, and the thing about this game is it's completely procedurally generated dungeon that you have to escape it doesn't matter if you're playing the campaign it doesn't matter if you're playing a random map or anything like that it's completely random no matter what so even even though I have played through the campaign before and I know what to expect it's an intense horror experience featuring scenes of disturbing nature. <sighs> Even though I know what to expect, I, I'm, I'm not going to know what to expect because of the nature of how the dungeons work and how the monsters work, especially. Oh, fuck me. Oh, we have our lamp. You know, classic horror nature. You have a lamp. You have all this stuff. Okay, so if I remember the controls correctly, there is our map, right? And we... and. Okay, that's turning our lamp off. But we have our map, and we could see the entire dungeon that we've explored with our map. And then we have our friend, our friend, our little lamp here that will that will be the only thing that keeps me fucking sane as we go through this. But yeah, any direction to walk. And how do I? Okay, that's inventory. There's options. That's different. That they've they've made this game different since the last time I played it. I haven't played it in a few months. The last time I did was to record a little bit. I don't know if the campaign's gonna be any different or anything like that. Right stick to turn. Okay, good to know. Thank you. All right, well, yeah, so we open, we go around into each one of these rooms throughout the game, and we go and open doors, and the whole point, the whole point is to find, do I have to turn like that? Wait, can I not sprint? No, I can't sprint, I forgot. Okay, that's sprinting. Good to know, I just wanna make sure. Anybody there? No? Okay. 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 All right. We're fine. We're fine. Use oil in your inventory to fuel your lamp. Yeah, I, I already got that. I don't... I'm not good with horror games. I'm not good with horror games. And I... I open inventory. Grab lockpick. Lockpick. Oh, okay. So, it makes the... It makes the... Those weren't my own footsteps, right? It makes... It makes this whole experience... A little faster when opening doors. A handwritten note. I can't wait for you. Not anymore. Not here. There's an exit. The store face told me, the stone face told me that I'll be there. I'll wait for you there. Follow my trail. Find the eyes. Find the exit. Yeah, that's 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 the whole goal of this game. And I'm playing this on the Oculus Quest. So really, I don't need to use the turning controls. I could just turn wherever I want. But I'm worried that I'm gonna eventually knock over and bump my head and break my neck or some shit like that if I'm not. At least trying to stay in one place. Alright, right hand, right hand. Do your map. Yeah. Okay. And if I remember correctly, if. Oh, let's get oil. If I remember correctly, as soon as I open that door, there's gonna be a bitch behind there waiting for us. Yeah. Yeah, go on. Go away. Okay. Yeah, she goes away. She goes away. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that scared about that. Because that's expected. I know I know what to expect in terms of that, right? Okay. Looks like a receptacle or something. Yeah, and, and the whole thing with, with these pillars and everything is we need to find an eyeball for every single pillar. And we need to go to every single pillar and fucking put an eyeball on there. And we get these eyeballs by going through a dungeon. One dungeon per ball, or, or so it said. Oh, yeah, and these are the stone faces. Watch this. How are you? <laughs> demand payment. Oh, you demand payment. Okay. All right. About who she is. This room. This place. This place is a good, good way to start, right? A sanctuary, a safe haven for the pillars to keep them hidden and protected from the outside world. I love when you, uh, when you ask questions and then you know you leave with. Oh, okay. When you leave with more questions than you started, right? And. Yeah, lady went down this hallway. 
lady went down this hallway, but don't think I'm I'm scared. No. Claustrophobia. Yeah. Okay. Grab note. At first I was confused. My head throbbed and felt fuck and felt nauseous. It took me a long time to unlock my cell's door. The other cells were empty, but I heard strange noises coming from the corridor, sounding like somebody was whispering. Okay, all right. I like your notes. I, you know, the way you phrase them just makes them all that much more fun. Okay, just a torch. Just a torch. And here's here's our beloved eyeball. I mean, sure, right, right here, kind of, maybe it looks a little bit creepy, right? But these things are going to be our fucking... Safe haven. Yep. Give me the human eye. Let's go. Let's get back out of here. Let's go put the eyeball onto the pillar. And stop. We could run faster than that. You have you have more stamina than that. Oh god. Oh god. And there's gonna be there's gonna be times there's gonna be times where I'm silent. Get the eye from your inventory, then place it here. Yep, just like mama told me to do when I was little. How convenient for that door to open up. Yeah, and then purple light goes through door, and we continue on from there. There must be another eyeball further inside. Uh-huh. Okay. So, this is the map. It's relatively big. And uh, for every single dungeon, we have to go through it and we have to find this fucking eyeball. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Uh huh. Okay. Those are the whispers they must have been talking about. I s this game does a great job at making you feel paranoid. Really good job at that. Okay, we need to go down the hallway then, no other way, go down to the giant hallway, hmm, what is this room, oh, oh, okay, okay, this is the safe room, this is the safe room, okay, uh, I should mention, uh, every level has a safe room, and, uh, they all look different, but generally when this music starts playing, means this is this is the good old room that we won't get attacked in. And the only way we will get attacked is if, oh, let's talk to the stone face, is if a monster follows us in here. Yes, hello, how are you? What is your question? Okay, pay two coins. Uh, the exit, yes. The only exit is through the pillars. They will take you where you wish to go. Okay, thank you. Between them. <sighs> okay. All right. So, we need to be thorough. We need to be thorough. We need to go back to the other... We need to go through every room. Because the eyeball room could literally be in any room. It could be in any room, and if, if it's in any and if it's in any room, we could easily pass it up if we're not thorough and explore everything. It's good and a bad thing at the same time. Hello, you have oil? Yes. Give me your oil. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay. All right, so there's big hallway to our side, which leads into what looks like a bigger room. And then there is the safe room below us, which the safe room is kind of like, it's usually the center of the map. And it usually leads to, don't make noises. Okay. Okay. Go across, go across. We're fine. Go to safe room. There's something in here with me? No? Okay. All right. 
Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be a bitch. I'm gonna be a bitch the majority of the time. I, I'm not built. I'm not built different. I'm not built for horror. I'm not, I'm not built to take shit like this. I'm a little bitch. If you tell me otherwise, then I'm... Oh, fuck, don't... No, don't whisper in my ears. Don't whisper in my ears. At any moment, some shit could happen. I don't like long hallways. I don't like long hallways. The penalty to dying in this game is I have to play the game. Hello? Oh fuck! Oh hi! How are you doing? There's a lady standing in the back of that room. I don't know if you see her, but I'm gonna leave her to be. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna let her do her own thing, you know? She doesn't. She doesn't need to do anything, but just sit there. If she stays in that room, good for her. Good on her. Please eyeball. Eyeball room. Oil. I won't complain about oil. Uh -huh. Hello? Skeleton, okay. Okay, close that door behind us. Okay. Oh, fuck this. Oh, fuck this. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, I don't want to look away from it, but I don't want to keep... Okay, okay. You stay right there, you bitch. You stay right there. You stay right there. I'm unlocking the door. Uh -huh. And I'm closing that door. Oh. I'm not... I don't want to... Stop. Stop with the noises. Stop with the noises. Stop with the noises. Is there an eyeball in this room? Oh, hello. Hello, Shadow Man. How you doing? I see oil at the back of that room, but you know, I don't feel like going in that room. If you couldn't tell, there's more than one monster that I have to worry about. And none of which are too friendly. Okay, there's a room up here and there's another room that loops around back to the other room. You never know. You never know where the eyeball could be. This looks like bait. All right. Okay. All right. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. There's another room up here. Okay. Hi. How you doing, man? Hi. You seem. You seem nice. Okay. All right. You have a good day. Goodbye. You have a nice day, man. Oh. All right, so very clearly was not the eyeball room. Stop. Get back, I'm getting back from that hallway. I hear footsteps. I also hear squishing behind me. I hear whispers, I don't know. No, no, I don't. Look, okay, so we need to go back to the safe room. Oil needs to be topped off. We need to go back to the safe room. And when we go back to the safe room, then we could go through and explore the rest of the map. We've been pretty thorough so far. Just run, just run. I don't like being in big hallways. Big hallways are a bad idea. Bad times, not fun times. Okay, I'll go this way, We're good. Hello, safe room. You know, even though I call it the safe room, it doesn't make me feel all that. I'm sorry. Did I just hear a door open itself? To my side. Okay. Whatever the sound was, I'm sure it doesn't mean anything, right? There's another statue. Talk to the statue, Jay? Talk to the statue? Okay, here, let's talk to the statue. At least the statues talk to us and all that. Hello. How are you? Cross your nose. Real nice. We 
demand payment. Okay, yeah, you demand payment. Okay. Uh, the pillars. What are the pillars? They wanted more. Our creators knew they were trapped inside the walls of their world, and so carved their way out. A gate into the between, but also a beacon for the shadows that creep in it. Okay. Alright. Does make a good job at making me feel paranoid. We have five oils left. Okay. Grab oil. Give me oil. I fell asleep. Don't. Uh, I don't know how for how long. But my lamp had to run all out of the oil by the time I woke up. It was all dark and the air felt thick and heavy. And it felt like my. Uh, I relit my lamp quickly, but in my hands, I broke an oil bottle, burning my hands. Okay. Cool story, bro. Feel free to tell us about that later. I just want to find my fucking eyeball room and get out of here. Now, what's gonna make me really mad is if the eyeball room is way up here, or way down here, rather, and I explored the rest of the map for no diddly reason other than just to be a little bitch. It is. This has to be the eyeball room. It all for fuck's sake. <laughs> so you're telling me, you're telling me that I could have just, I could have gone from the spawn right where I was, gone through the safe room and been in an eyeball and been in the safe haven, easy, boom, easy, it could have been in and out five minutes, quickie, but instead I had to explore the whole map. <laughs> oh, okay, we're back here. Okay, so now since we're back here, uh, we go up to pedestal, we take eyeball, we thwack eyeball onto pedestal, purple comes out, and... The next place is unlocked. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna leave this episode off here. I know there wasn't any really jump scares or anything like that, but my nerves can handle so much of playing. I can only play this game for like 20 minutes at a time before bad problems start to happen to me when I go to bed. So, uh, if you enjoyed... Am I facing you? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you enjoyed... Let me know in the comments and all that. I'm going to keep cranking out episodes as much as I can. And anyways, this is Jay, and I genuinely hope that you have a beautiful day. And until next time, bye!